to brighten up her doll room in their hiding place and stuck pictures and postcards on the walls. That makes it look a lot more cheerful. Near her little table, she put pictures of the British princesses Elizabeth and Margaret and of members of the Dutch royal family. Anne loved kings and queens and spent hours charting royal family trees. But she also pasted up satirical cartoons, pictures of landscapes and children, and film stars such as the Swedish actress Greta Garbo and the American Ginger Rogers. Many of the photos came from the Dutch women's magazine La Bella. Anne loved movies. One of the helpers, Victor Kugler, gave her cinema magazines, which she combed through cover to cover. Bep, who usually spends her days off with her boyfriend in the movie theatre, tells me the name of the film they have in mind on Saturday, and I rattle off to her both the names of the lead characters and the reviews the film has received. Anne spent a lot of time on her picture collection, but as she got older, her interests changed. She covered up a photo of the American actresses Rosemary and Priscilla Lane with a picture of a sculpture by the Italian artist Michelangelo and she pasted a Leonardo da Vinci self-portrait over a childish print. Anne was becoming increasingly interested in art. On the 8th of May 1944, she wrote in her diary, I would love to go to Paris for a year and London for a year to learn the language and study art history. It was visible on the wall. 